Get ready for an eye-opening deep dive of SpaceX's cost optimization strategy that goes beyond the iconic scenes of booster landings. While the spotlight often shines on booster recovery, there's another unsung hero in the quest for reducing expenses. Fairing recovery. Elon Musk, the maestro of innovation, recently peeled back the curtain, offering mind-blowing revelations about SpaceX's accomplishments in this arena. Today, in a special episode of Great SpaceX, let's uncover the insanity of Elon Musk's recent disclosures, understand the significance of fairing recovery for SpaceX, and get a glimpse of how this effort will shape the future of space exploration. In the ever-evolving space industry, SpaceX, just born, two decades ago has become a catalyst for monumental change. Rewriting the rules of the game, they achieved the seemingly impossible feat of vertically landing boosters, first on the landing zone, and then on drone ships, a spectacle that perhaps no other organization had dared to dream of before SpaceX's meteoric rise. Now, let's shift our gaze to the fairing, that enigmatic component perched atop the rocket. While the booster landing was an astronomical leap, contemplating the recovery of the fairing seemed like venturing into uncharted territory. The challenges dwarfed those of the booster, making it a task few in the aerospace realm believed possible. But enter SpaceX, where pushing boundaries is the norm. Elon Musk, the visionary at the helm, recently made an electrifying announcement at a presentation at Starbase on January 12th. An immense amount of effort, um, but we now quite regularly recover the fairing, and we've uh, reflown fairings 300 times. 300 times? Sounds like the stuff of ethereal dreams, doesn't it? This milestone holds a significance that goes beyond mere numerical achievement. For SpaceX, it's a demonstration of their relentless pursuit of excellence. In the vast expanse of opinions, I offer my take that this feat encapsulates not just one but two profound successes for SpaceX. The first lies in the sheer technical prowess and determination required to make fairing recovery a routine reality. The second is the tangible impact on cost efficiency and sustainability, as the fairing gets recycled and reimagined for the next interstellar adventure. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section. After all, in the cosmos of ideas, every perspective adds a unique constellation to the narrative. The first accomplishment embedded in this extraordinary feat is a benefit that resonates with everyone. Reducing costs, a true galactic game changer. Musk's words echo on the accompanying slide. Around $6 million in saving per recovery. Reflown fairing more than 300 times altitude control thruster, steerable parachute. Now, $6 million may seem like a drop in the vast ocean of space exploration when considering the total launch cost of Falcon 9, Heavy, or other high-priced rockets. However, let's put it in perspective. $6 million represents a significant 10% of the total cost of a Falcon 9 flight. Now let's indulge in a bit of astronomical arithmetic. Multiply that seemingly modest $6 million by the 300 recovery times Elon Musk proudly pointed out, and the result is an exorbitant figure of $1.8 billion, one that not only underscores the colossal impact of fairing recovery on SpaceX's financial landscape, but also highlights the transformative power of cost efficiency in the space industry. Within a company deeply committed to cost optimization like SpaceX, the significance of this achievement is not lost. It's a strategic tool that can be wielded to propel the company into new frontiers. The substantial cost savings generated by fairing recovery, amounting to $6 million per recovery, and a staggering $1.8 billion over 300 times, offer a financial boon that can be strategically invested in ambitious projects such as Mars colonization. Even with SpaceX's ongoing efforts to optimize costs through measures like simplifying the Raptor engine, altering Starship materials, and experimenting with new fuels, missions like Mars colonization demand substantial financial resources. The ability to recover fairings and channel those savings into groundbreaking initiatives becomes pivotal. This achievement also marks a revolution in the aerospace industry. Historically, rockets were designed for single use, leading to colossal costs for each launch. Take NASA's Space Launch System, or SLS for short, a prime example of an expendable rocket with each launch costing 2 to $4 billion. 
SpaceX's strategy of reuse challenges this norm, proving to be a paradigm shift, especially in the transition to a private model within the aerospace industry. The influence of SpaceX's reuse strategy extends beyond its own operations, as other organizations, both private and government, witness the effectiveness of this approach, it becomes a beacon of inspiration. The emulation of SpaceX's strategy by China emphasizes the global impact of this trailblazing phenomenon. Reuse is not just a concept, it's a future that promises sustainability and financial prudence. In the SpaceX narrative, cost-cutting through fairing recovery doesn't just balance the books, it has a ripple effect. Reduced rocket launch prices become a competitive advantage, coupled with the stellar reputation SpaceX has meticulously built. This advantage becomes a bulwark against emerging competitors like ULA's Vulcan, Sierra Space's Dream Chaser, and Blue Origin's New Glenn. In the ever-evolving space race, SpaceX's dominance endures, powered by innovation, cost efficiency, and a vision that reaches for the stars. The pursuit of fairing recovery stands as a testament to SpaceX's development ethos, a relentless commitment to overcoming challenges and pushing the boundaries of what's deemed possible. Musk himself acknowledged the formidable nature of this endeavor, stating, This was actually very difficult to recover the fairing. Unlike the booster, which fulfills its role in the initial minutes of the launch, reaching an altitude of 80 kilometers, the fairing has a more prolonged journey, staying active until at least the payload release stage. Facilitating the safe passage of the fairing through the atmosphere, followed by the intricate dance of navigation, capture, recovery, and reuse, all pose considerable challenges. The question that naturally arises is, how did the ingenious minds at SpaceX engineer solutions to surmount these interplanetary hurdles? The approach to fairing recovery is a reflection of SpaceX's pragmatic and innovative development style. To guide the fairing safely through the atmosphere, they employ a common yet effective method, parachute landing. The parachute not only decelerates the fairing's descent, reducing friction with the atmosphere, but also enhances accuracy in predicting the landing point. Initially, SpaceX opted for a more complex approach, attempting to catch the fairing with ships equipped with a net system to prevent exposure to seawater and potential corrosion. However, recognizing the intricacies and low success rate of this method, SpaceX embraced simplicity and innovation. Realizing that fairings could float like small boats, mitigating the impact of seawater on internal components, they transitioned to a straightforward method. The fairings now land directly into the sea with specialized ships, employing crane systems to retrieve them. While these methods may seem simple, they embody SpaceX's overarching philosophy of simplicity in design and processes. This approach is encapsulated in Elon Musk's mantra, the best part is no part, the best process is no process. The essence of their unique work style is captured in the ethos of learning from failure. The shift from the net system to the current method of sea landing exemplifies their ability to iterate and improve through experience and setbacks. This development style has yielded substantial successes, including the recovery of 300 fairings, launching Falcon 9 nearly 300 times, landing boosters over 260 times, and surpassing others in orbital payload launches. As SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of space exploration, these principles are expected to contribute to the success of Starship, potentially facilitating human missions to the Moon and Mars. Looking ahead, the future holds more milestones for Falcon 9 fairing recovery, with SpaceX planning an increased launch frequency, potentially up to 144 missions, Falcon 9 is poised to make significant contributions. The trajectory suggests reaching new milestones, possibly 400 to 500 recoveries, translating into substantial cost savings and reinforcing SpaceX's position as a leader in the space industry. Predicting the final limit of Elon Musk and the SpaceX team seems as challenging as reaching the farthest corner of the cosmos. While other companies grapple to catch up with SpaceX's impressive launch records, the aerospace revolutionary is unwaveringly committed to elevating each mission to new heights. In the face of emerging competitors, the combination of SpaceX's current achievements and ambitious plans positions them to maintain leadership in the aerospace industry for years to come. Now, I'm curious. What are your thoughts on SpaceX's remarkable efforts in fairing recovery? What additional milestones do you envision SpaceX achieving in the the future. 
share your musings in the comments section down below. Otherwise, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and if you want to support our channel even further, you can hop on over to our Patreon through the link in the description below. Sign up and become a patron today to gain access to exclusive content. Sounds exciting, right? In any case, we still appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.